kind of stuff. Championship teams. We were naming championship teams yeah. that essentially had no point guard. Yeah. You know, and there's a whole bunch of them. Yes. Yep. So yep. I go like, hence, that's my point. Maybe that's not the offense for you to run. Right. You should run an offense that utilizes your talent right. in a way that works best. But it does. But Vic, that's still not what it came down to. No. It still just came down to the man, the man, hustle. Right. Of the moment. And that's right. why I don't know. What, you, that, what do you say? People say correct. Correct what? Play harder, right. f- faster, and more consistent. Like right. Pat Riley said, there is nothing to adjust. It's a mental game. First. Yes. It's a mental game. A mental game. Yeah. It reminds me of football when they say, well, what's the difference in the college football player and the pro? It says you have 20 plays, maybe more. And then when you get into pros, you have a book. And it says, so we already know you're talented physically. You just can now you convert that over to the, the whole play execution. And what do we always say? The linemen are the smartest because they have to know every play. So it's a mental game. And they also game. hit on every play. I always remind <laughs> right. people. And they hit on every play. Not like some folks who hit every once in a while. They hit every play. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're going to go over to this. I know this is not a big deal. I have to go and say, hey, look, you know, yeah. And I spelled the name wrong. I should have had an M, Yakim Noah. Slur cost the Chicago Bull $50,000. And, of course, Kobe gets hit because why? He gets charged 100000 because it was a referee. All right. Everybody knows the reason why. They said it was a referee. He cost you more money. But it's a gay slur. So, here's my question, Mario, because you always have this wonderful insight about this. You know, yeah, Noah's a good man. He's passionate. Are we to think that referees are very sensitive and they're very costly because they're sensitive and you have to be aware of that their emotion is worn on their sleeve. So it will cost you more money. Is this fair and a fair assessment of penalties against two players using the same allegation or accusation against an individual? But wearing the stripes costs you more. Is that a fair yeah. You think so? Totally. Okay. In other words, okay, let me do I'll give you another example. There's a whole list of things you can yell at another player. Yell those same lists at the ref. Right. You'll get a technical. <laughs> right. Okay, no offense. Right. You Okay, because you could even go turn to a, another player. I don't know if they'll call all the time. If you go, oh, shit. <laughs> what? Or you go on the ref's face and go, oh, shit. What, what, what? You probably get a technical. <laughs> Just for that? <laughs> Just for that. Just for that, you get penalized. <laughs> Fifteen dollars today. <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So that's the reason I said it. What I, in other words, like, I thought about it, but I said no, no, because people try to put the fairness and whether this person is more was more worthy, you know, right. to do no. There, but I was the only reason I took the stand that I have because in the game of basketball, you have very specific rules about the ways you can talk to a referee. True. You just have rules. That's gotcha. I mean, that was just it's not my rules, but you right. guys have. Rules that says you cannot say but certain things to the ref. True. And you're not even supposed to talk to the ref. That's right. Okay, so, well, you should know that. You don't go up on the ref and say, ah, bitch, call and play better. (laughs) You know, that won't go over. (laughs) Probably will get you technical. (laughs) And and don't think they don't talk to each other. That asshole called me bitch. So the other referees, you know, they say, when he called me bitch, I'm going to tee his ass up the first time. Okay. So they'll be waiting for you after that. Right. Now, let me, <laughs> now, now let me ask. Here's a good question. Uh, no, it's not a good question. Hell, you guys got all the good questions. All right. Let's just say the referee, of course, hears a, a, a slur made from one player to the other. That's a technical, right? Uh, I guess today it is because they, you have new rules. I don't know the exact rule, Vic, how they de- determine what's a taunt. Right. And the kind of taunting things, I don't know the exact rule. Right. But I I assume you cannot call them, you know, gay, nigga, none of that. You right. can't use none of that no. on the court. Punk. I agree. Asshole. No name calling. Right. You know, bitch. Right. You know, and even though people who play basketball, you know, that's something you, that's, that has been part of the game. The time you, that's what the mouthing off is. Your mother, mother. <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> that's what people do. <laughs> right. And if now they, they say no more of that. Okay. So there's no more. but So you right. can't use any of that, Vic, as okay. far as I know. No, no. You're right. The reason why I'm saying this is that it is true that, it, look, I listen to the basketball programs for the back talk behind, and I hear all kinds of stuff. So is this a matter of being caught 
Or is it a matter of do we penalize every time we hear it? I said, because if, if, if you go by the rule, I said, so penalties yeah. should be flying out the yang yang on this, man. Well, supposedly maybe it depends how often it's done. No, I don't know what you're observing. The NBA, first of all, and again, my buddy, I, I played the devil's advocate. He said, uh, man, you can't say anything. All is politically correct. I said, yeah, there was a time white folks were really threatened when you came home with their daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, so okay. they had to get over it. Yeah. Okay. Right. There was a time where it was a big deal for you to stand next to the white man in the urinal. Yeah. Okay. And pee in the same bathroom. It was just revolutionary. Not in okay. America. Not in America, okay. man. No. And so and so and there was a time. And so now you're at a time where it's not okay to just use certain things that are insulting to gay folks. Right. Where they actually have to be treated like individuals worthy of respect. Right now, I may that be that may be new to a bunch of us, but you know, I tell everybody I used to smoke on airplanes. <laughs> People say, "Damn!" I say, "Yeah, I used to smoke cigarettes, and I had a time I used to smoke on airplanes." Yeah. So, what are you trying to say? There's a bunch of stuff that we used to be able to do. Right. Get over it. You can't use. Get over. You can't say, "Oh, uh, that's gay." Right. Oh, uh, that's you know. Now, of course, that's going to remove some of some of my some. You know, we all have our favorite insults. Right. For whatever reason, right? I used to, I like refer, references to an anatomical part. I know that, like your word for a penis or a word for a female anatomy. I those are my, soon you won't be able to say none of that. <laughs> so we'll just go on to other curse words, right? We'll just go on to like you know, it'll just it'll be a wonderful world. I won't allow anyone in this room right now to give any examples of words that we can use because most of you guys are holding your breath because you Biscuit. can't wait to use you can call people because you got people saying it right fork now you. fork you is no, one of mine you take a there, fork you have a fork fork you no 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 biscuit you're a biscuit we're being you're called, a funny face we're being called names right now <laughs> funny face we just can't hear it well none of them are racial i'm sure <laughs> yeah I'm, yeah I'm gonna go on to the next because I'm not none, gonna. Even, none of them. I'm no, sure. I, I'm not, I don't even want to try. Look, I want. <laughs> I want you guys to sit back and just you know hold your hats because your city should be proud to host and have a football team. And if they do, you just want that damn. Don't, I told you nobody <laughs> give a shit about that football team. You, wonder, you damn wonder. sports. You know, there's a bunch of people in LA just mad that we don't have a football team. <laughs> Vic's one of them. Wait, Where's wait. the football team? Wait a minute. I told her we got too many choices anyway. Watch this, Mario. Think of good ideas. What? <laughs> think of think of wonderful ideas. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. Okay, look, I'm a bachelor, and being a bachelor, I, I you know I enjoy you know intelligent, fine ass women. Okay. As Bring them over they, and associates. They've been dating too many and, lately. <laughs> Where are they, by the way? Can right. we get a flow or something? Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm, and I'm endorsing why I love women because they are absolutely wonderful. Now, you can sit there all day long and find... They have less some, <laughs> foot fungus. Okay. Don't think that football is going to affect the, that social atmosphere of sports as it relates to all those wonderful fans where my, where my <laughs> that are females who absolutely love the game and that you get to associate yourself with. So is there a crime? <laughs> is there a crime that Ray Lewis is alluding to? Because this is no. the story about Ray. Now, hold on. Let me Still set it up. Let me set it up. Everybody knows that Ray Lewis went out and said, you know, the lockout says you have a lockout, no football crime is going to happen. It'll be crime so, on the streets. Right. So here, here, Mario, I asked Mario this. Said, Mario, so we should already go back and look at the crime that's been increased in L.A. since they moved to St. Louis back in the mid-90s. That's right. right. We should look at the crime and see so there crime, is none. There, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here it is. So I'm thinking that he was really talking about the crime is, is that – all the women, all my supporters, those who love me dearly, it's, it, that's the crime, that we will lose them. It'll be rise in domestic violence <laughs> because there's no football. <laughs> right. You know, without you, now your old lady's going to be coming in there asking you to come with her over at mom's house. <laughs> okay. Visit her sister. Go to little Riri's birthday party. You know damn well you don't want to go to little Riri's birthday party. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be bad. They're going to like, well, why don't you want to go? Oh well, then don't go. Okay, so, no, no. You okay? You say you want to go, but you don't really want to go. <laughs> oh, now wait a minute, and I want to show you the face of concern. Now, if you look at Ray Lewis, just so let's show Ray Lewis. This man has set an example of a man who's come from a place 
of course, you know, coming first in the league and uh, being charged with murder and the whole thing and having an agreement to, of course, move beyond that and be the successful model and role model in sports, uh, in specifically the NFL, has turned into what they call a person, an advocate of what they call warnings. So and that, clean cut right. haircuts. <laughs> right. So Ray, in his wisdom, is preparing us to actually say, get ready for a change. Now, M- Mario always say, I've been looking for a change under the Obama watch. I think Ray Lewis has found the change and it's going to come through a lockout. Now, before we actually get any further on this, mm-hmm. which cities do we think will suffer the most or the greatest threat of violence, which crime relates to? And which cities we think are the top ones that when the lockout comes, beware, hold your butts because violence is a coming. Let's pick the cities, Mario, because I like when you start off at the list. You usually go at well, the bottom. Once again, assuming that <laughs> football players, I mean, that's where we do go for these kinds of predictions, right? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> okay. You got to be cooperative. All right. After all, they play football. They would know this. Oh. Okay. But okay. Let's just see if Ray Lewis's prediction is true. Yes. And that the lack of football will cause an outbreak of violence. You know the number one city affected. <laughs> I know. Which one? Boston. Oh, see, dude, you have something against Followed Boston. Followed closely by Miami. No, it's you missing you one. You've seen Cheers. <laughs> you missing one. With Boston, those people, me, they can't, they already, all they have is the beans, high cholesterol, all that shrimp and lobster. So they... They cold and pale up in there in Boston. <laughs> Tired. You're wrong. So they don't have no football. They don't get violent. Don't be going up there messing with the people that have no football. So, but, All those cold climates. Now Miami, that's one of the few warm climates where they go act crazy because of no football. Right. That's because they have little thing else there. Miami still celebrating gold teeth. <laughs> Dude, that's wrong. That's one of the few places <laughs> you can still go. They're drinking champagne and grenadine down there. <laughs> gold teeth. Okay, yeah, that's we Miami. Losing, we're losing our fan And then base. you go to Chicago. Now, Chicago, they get violent, too, because, you know, even though they should be lo- used to losing by now. <laughs> that's wrong. That's <laughs> wrong. They had a taste. But, of course, you know the the, t- the city that will experience no violence. What is that one? With a lack of football. Right. Los Angeles. First of all, you think L.A. is this calm, cool. We got other shit we, to do. We have better quality of we life, gotta, right? You know, you could be on your way to the game in L.A. and drive past some ladies and just. <laughs> that's L.A. I'm right. just saying, we just got other stuff to do. Okay, I'm, gonna I'm just saying, you have I, sports. I know, but we you, just have other choices here. Let me tell you the city that you actually passed over that I think is strong consideration. There's two of them. Detroit, Oakland. Now. Take Oakland. There's nobody left in Detroit. <laughs> Take Oakland. No football in Oakland, man. They don't care. Okay. Right. Oakland will be all right. They're okay. still in California. Okay, I tell you and what. Californians just can handle no football. They can. I'll make this easy. They got Stanford. I'll there. make it easy for you. Pick, and I'm going to say the cities real quick because there are more cities here, you guys. Oh, you I just want no your visual aids. Don't go there. Oh, oh see, no, 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 you get, look at this. No, no, no. no, no. Take a look at these visual aids. I don't want to. Look at this. How can you scramble that? How can I scroll? <laughs> Like you got That's like 15 true. cities down here and shit. See how no he, wonder I couldn't he answer the question. exaggerates everything. Look at all these cities. <laughs> Wait a minute. Was, I no wonder I couldn't get the answer right. He was so, look, you were so busy trying to slam Boston that you didn't want to scroll down. So I'm going to do it for Memphis everybody else. Memphis will not have an increase in I'm pride. going to go and read these okay. cities because some people are listening to audio. And I'll say audio. yes or no. I'll say yes or no. Well, I tell you what. I'll, that's an agreement. And then we're going to come back to something okay. else. All right. Los Angeles. No. Dallas. No. Miami. Yes. (laughs) Chicago. Yes.